Hi, my name is Chris Stevens and in this video I will present an invention that will allow to significantly reduce the cost of energy storage. Today, wind turbine electricity has become cheaper than conventional energies. This fact remains true even in locations where the wind capacity factor is only around 20%. The large-scale development of renewable energies is, however, limited because they are intermittent. For example, for wind turbines, when there is no wind, there is no electricity. In such a situation, the usual way to produce electricity is to switch on conventional plants by burning gas or coal, which contribute to global warming. Though there exist many solutions to store energy, such as batteries, their cost remains expensive. To illustrate this point, if we wanted to develop 100% renewable energy mixes, it would require investing five times more in batteries than in wind turbines or solar panels. Pumped storage hydroelectricity stores energy with a cost similar to batteries and the other existing storage solutions are considerably more expensive. The invention that I will present here works in a reverse way. Instead of concrete dams retaining water, the system uses the water in the ocean to retain concrete weights with floats. The main breakthrough results from taking advantage of much higher elevation differences. In the ocean, with an average depth of 13 feet, it is possible to store the same quantity of electricity in 1 kilo of concrete as in 1 kilo of battery. The invention uses this principle in a simple way, by using standard components like a barge, steel cables, pulleys, electric motors and generators, and concrete weights with floats. When there is an excess of electricity on the grid, the energy can be absorbed by the system by rising the weights one by one, with the electric motor on the barge connected to the grid through a submarine electric cable. And when there is no wind, this potential energy can be transformed back to electricity by descending the weights one by one and running on electric generator. With 13 feet depth, each weight will absorb or produce electricity during 30 minutes. Lanyard's manipulation can be done with conventional rod-type submarine robots. The system offers total flexibility, since it's possible to adapt the number of weight for one barge to the necessary storage time. For example, 10 hours for solar panels or more than 2 days for wind power. The invention solves several problems. It reduces the cost of anchoring cables. The system can be operated even in stormy weather conditions. And it ensures a constant or variable power, depending on the needs in real time. The energy efficiency is higher than 80% on a total round trip. The minimal size of the storage system to ensure its viability combined with a wind or solar farm, depends on the distance of the submarine electric cable needed to reach important depths, the fixed operating cost and the price of electricity offered by the local electricity retailer. In certain locations, the size of the storage system can be lower than 1 megawatt, which is the size of a diesel generator. This system allows the storage of electricity with an investment cost 5 to 20 times lower than batteries or pumped hydroelectricity, depending on location and depth. Those figures might appear difficult to believe, but they are easy to check since all components exist and are available commercially. Consequently, this also allows us to estimate the lifetime of the storage system as well as the cost of operation, maintenance and grid connection. A fast industrial ramp-up is possible. 
because many synergies exist between the storage solution and the present energy sector, such as shipbuilding facilities or submarine robotics, often used for offshore oil and gas or renewable energies. Since 2013, several patents have been filed for this invention. Together with experts in the relevant sectors, critical functions were identified, offshore trial protocols were defined, and several prototype designs were completed. The next step will be to start raising funds in order to build a demonstrator, to prove that there are no technical or economical barriers for the large-scale development of fully renewable energy mixes. If you wish to contribute to this project, you can contact us through our website and you can also share this video. Thank you for your attention.